Welcome to Mommy's Chef. My name is Heidi and today we're going to make three budget-friendly recipes. And we're going to accomplish that by using a rotisserie chicken. I know prices have risen these days, but these chickens remain the same because stores want you to walk in, purchase a chicken, and have dinner for your family. But we're going to completely change the flavor profile and I'm going to give you three recipes that you can have in your arsenal to have during the week. The recipes are gonna consist of one is chicken tacos and these have these zucchinis with peppers and onions and so much flavor that it's just gonna add and all these vegetables are gonna add to the bulk of our meal without adding too much price because vegetables are pretty inexpensive as well. I'm also gonna make the best chicken pot pie that you'll ever have. I swear, it's delicious. And then I'm gonna make a soup for you can have for lunches, take to work, meal prep and so on. So I'll see you guys in my recipes. I have a little confession to me. I do not like handling raw chicken because um, I'm a chef and I'm food safety certified and I don't like the repercussions of mishandling chicken. So therefore I don't like handling it. And I, I mean, I'd much rather have it cooked. I mean, there are uh, protocols that I do abide by when I'm making chicken, but I think it's just so labor intensive that I'd rather have it cooked. And also it's ease of meal prepping because I'm so busy these days that it's just so helpful to have it already cooked and I can just throw in the recipe. Oh, when you get home with your chicken, make sure you debone it right away and put it into like simple blocks because your family's gonna attack these guys. I just had like two and they attacked one and I'm like, seriously, I need to film. I'm not gonna film without a chicken, <laughs> but it's okay. So I started sauteing one onion for my chicken tacos and one onion for my pot pie and I add different vegetables for two each and I'm gonna take my chile poblano and dice this guy and sometimes they're a little spicy and sometimes they're not sometimes they're very sweet so you get what you get in don't complain <laughs> but I love the flavor profile of this I think this is probably one of my favorite chilies so I'm gonna dice this guy and put him on my taco onions and goes our chilies. To add more volume to our tacos, I'm gonna add two zucchinis. The original recipe calls for calabacitas, which is like, like a Mexican zucchini, which is much tender. I usually grow it, but I didn't have any more because I keep giving them away. So add that to your pot. Did I mention that was just two? Or one large one. I'm gonna clean and dice these homemade car uh, homegrown carrots, and I'm gonna put them in my chicken pot pie. And with my carrots, I'm just gonna dice two cloves of garlic to each pan. One for this guy and one for this guy. I'm gonna take two cups of water for my taco and four for my chicken pot pie. I'm gonna take two tea tablespoons and add it to my chicken pot pie. And you can use chicken bouillon, any bouillon you like, so, or chicken stock if you have it. And only one for my tacos. So I'm adding my chicken to my chicken pot pie and also to my tacos. Now I'm going to season it. For my tacos, I'm going to take one teaspoon of paprika and that's going to make it sweet. For my pot pie, I'm going to take one teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of thyme, two teaspoons of cumin for my tacos. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to both. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to take equal parts of flour and butter and this is softened. You can just pop it in the microwave for a little bit. Mine was all, uh, out so it's pretty soft. So I'm going to mix it until it's super smooth. Look how smooth that is. It almost looks like frosting. Super delicious. Let's add it to our chicken pot pie. So she's going to thicken this. Stir that in. I don't know if I said but it was three tablespoons of butter and three of flour. Yeah, I need a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I like this method because you can add it little by little. See, sometimes the water evaporates and your uh, roux appears to be thicker, so this is a good method to try. Okay, I'm gonna finish my tacos with a little bit of cream. This is cashew cream. You can use creme fraiche, crema mexicana, any cream you have or uh, half and half too. This adds the tacos to, oh my God, to a different level of so delicious. You're gonna love these guys. So I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge and then warm them up when we get hungry, like for a lazy dinner or whatever, even for lunch. It's delicious. I swear you guys are gonna love, I'm gonna link the boys recipe. Mine's a little different because I don't like to copy, <laughs> but um, 
it was amazing i made this for one of my friends who was a little you know he had the little you know what I'm, what's going around lately and he said this made him better <laughs> he was so happy uh, you're gonna love it pot pie i'm just gonna add one cup of milk you can add cream whatever you have around just to make things a little bit more creamy look how luscious and thick that is oh my goodness i can't wait to eat this okay i'm gonna add my um peas i think i'm just gonna have half of this guys oops a little more than over guys. um yeah so you have two meals with just one costco chicken isn't that awesome i added probably like 75 percent of the bag i'm gonna add so i added it to a baking dish now you can do two things you can buy a pie crust top it with that you can do biscuits you can buy biscuits and just pop them in i'm gonna make my own because i think it tastes better <laughs> and it's probably cheaper to make Oh, I forgot to tell you, these are called rajas. I don't know, my country is a, it has a different meaning, but it's, I think they're amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. I adore these guys. I'm going to make biscuits, and I'm going to double the recipe, because one, I'm going to cover my chicken pot pie with, and the other one, I'm going to actually make biscuits. I have five cups of flour in here. I'm going to link my recipe. It's already on YouTube, so. It's a baking soda and two of baking powder. And I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt. Everything's gonna be written down in the description box below. So I'm gonna take two sticks of butter, and these guys are pretty frozen, actually. You wanna use really cold butter. I'm gonna add two, tea, uh, two sticks, and I'm gonna cut them into pieces. Start mixing that. And I go until my, my flour looks like a sandy beach. See like how it's coming together? See how you have a little bits of butter? Now I'm going to add two cups of milk or buttermilk. Two. <laughs> and to tenderize my dough, I'm going to add two egg yolks. And if you're not using egg yolks on your pie crust, what happened? This is a secret that my mom has always kept for me, but I saw her do it one day and it's a game changer. Don't tell her I told you, okay? And keep it a secret. <laughs> so now I'm just going to mix until everything's lightly combined. Like five seconds. That's it, and I'm gonna stop. Now I'm gonna roll out half the dough and make the other ones into biscuits. Okay, here's half my dough, and this is gonna be, I'm gonna roll this out, and there's the other half, yay. Oh, and it's supposed to look like this, kinda ugly, so it's not supposed to be really together because that's gonna form those flakes. And see those little pieces of butter, cold butter right there? That's what's gonna form those really flaky dough. Make you make sure you dust both sides before you start rolling. So I'm gonna start rolling. Okay, here's my dough and there's my pot. So I made it a little bit larger to accommodate the pot pie. So I folded it in half and I'm just gonna roll it out. Oh my goodness, it came out perfect. And you can add a little bit of butter on top, but I like to add a little bit of an egg yolk. I put it on top, I learned that from Martha Stewart. So put a little bit of egg yolk and a little bit of cream and then top it with that and then just pop it in the oven so i'm just gonna freeze this guy and i'm gonna bake it the day that i'm busy and i'm gonna be so happy because i'm gonna have a meal ready for me to go so i roll out my biscuit as well and you want the dough to be sticky sticky if it's not gonna be sticky then you're gonna get a tough a biscuit you don't want that so make sure your dough is sticky so i'm gonna cut these guys into squares and then i'm gonna bake them the day that i'm gonna make like a little gravy to go on top so yeah, so you have them ready to go in the oven. I mean, in the freezer. <laughs> Label them and then pop them in the freezer. And then the kids decided to eat some right now. So I guess we're going to eat some right now. <laughs> Requested potato soup again. But I'm going to make it different. So I'm going to make it chicken, potato, and um, spinach. Because I didn't have any broccoli. So therefore, we're going to use some spinach. Frozen spinach. Onions caramelizing. The pan was a little too hot. I'm gonna stir that. Oh, the thing about onions, if you don't cook them right before you add your water inside the, the your soup, they will never cook. So, <laughs> I mean, they will, but it will take like an hour. So, make sure you saute them before you stir your soup. So, I'm gonna add my chicken stock. I'm gonna add it to my pot, and there's that was the chicken stock I added as well. Also, on just a little bit of water because I didn't have enough chicken stock. You can use bouillon or whatever, whatever you have around. I'm gonna salt this a little bit because once you add your 
your potatoes will never absorb the salt once they're cooked so make sure you salt earlier try it out taste it because the chicken is already cooked so you're not gonna poison yourself i add my salt and oh there's like a little pepper right there it's okay <laughs> okay potatoes are cooked now i'm gonna have my chicken that's it's still a little frozen it's gonna be fine see how easy it falls out because of the the soup is pretty hot for my spinach i'm just gonna add like half of this and the spinach was also frozen look at those gorgeous colors and it's super healthy too now for some creaminess you whipping cream but i'm gonna add half a stick of cream cheese last time i made a roux and i added milk but i think this is better and it's easier in goes my cream cheese and that's just gonna dissolve and make it super creamy and that's pretty much it your creamy spinach chicken potato soup <laughs> long name but it's delicious so future Heidi here so my son wanted the soup to be a little bit thicker so I added the same roux that I added to the chicken pot pie was three tablespoons of softened butter with three tablespoons of flour and it thickened things right up <laughs> I'm gonna take my biscuits and I'm gonna add a little bit of parmigiano reggiano on top and I'm gonna pop them in the oven there's the soup doesn't that look delicious you can top it with a little bit of cheddar cheese and then your biscuits amazing thank you guys so much for joining me and watching this and i uh, hope this was helpful for budget wise and everything else and i'll see you guys next time i have some other videos planned for you guys love you besito ciao oh try to give me a like <laughs> i know it helps the algorithm <laughs> and sure i love you bye